Tom Holland and Timothy Chalamet are often compared to each other in the media, and it is also believed that the two actors can't stand each other. There are multiple reasons for hate. The first one is Zendaya. Allegedly, Timothy also has feelings for Zay, and he can't accept the fact that she is Tom's girlfriend. And the second one, Timothy wanted to play the role of Spider-Man, and he was even auditioned before Tom Holland was listed, but he failed. Now Timothy decided to share his feelings about both situations, and in this video, you will hear all the details of hatred between the two T's. The entire thing started when Zendaya was linked to Timothy because they allegedly began spending too much time together. No wonder the dating rumor sparked and no one even cared that Zendaya already had a boyfriend, Tom Holland. Timothy and Zendaya were spotted spending time together in New York City, Bed Bath & Beyond locations, and even though they were not doing something unusual here, people already decided it was a date. One person tweeted, Timothy and Zendaya hanging out? Say, oh god. None of the actors addressed the situation, and a bit later, Zendaya shared her feelings about Timothy. She said when she first met him, she knew from the start that they will become close friends. Immediately, I was like, we're gonna be friends for life. That was great. I had an incredible time, and I sure hope we get to do more of it because selfishly, I just want to have fun, Zendaya said. The actress also supported her words by inviting Timothy for her birthday. Timothy was happy to be invited to spend some time with Say, her friends, family, and boyfriend. When it was Timothy's birthday, Zendaya also sent her wishes to the co-star and wrote on her IG stories, It's an honor to watch his talents at work, but even more of an honor to be able to call him a friend. She then added, Essentially, he's the sh. Hope it's a beautiful one. The two seemingly became really good friends, and when Zendaya won her Emmy, Timothy was the one to congratulate her. I'm so happy for you, I was screaming over here when I saw it. When you had just gotten the nomination, I remember us talking about what it was going to be like in this environment, not having an in-person ceremony, but you killed it. Timothy said about her Emmy's win. No matter how the two were acting friendly to each other, people still assumed that it was Timothy's plan to get closer to Zendaya and steal her from Tom Holland, or at least make Tom jealous because they are known for being frenemies. But it was all just a rumor because Timothy himself once revealed that he is a big fan of Tom Holland and he has always respected him. However, no matter how Timothy was trying to convince people that he is in a good relationship with Tom Holland, fans still pretend to think that they are enemies. Also, the fact that Zendaya revealed that she was worried about her smell while being close to Timothy during filming raised many fans' eyebrows, and it was a reason for them to ship the couple once again. Here is what Zendaya said about filming together with Timothy. I had just gotten my wisdom teeth taken out. My biggest fear was that my mouth would be vile, and then I would have to do a scene with Timothy where we had to be really close and he would smell my dry socket breath. It is so weird why people find it suspicious that Zendaya worried about her smell because it is pretty normal to worry about things like that. Don't you think so? Let us know in the comment section below. The next time Zendaya proved that Timothy is just a friend for her happened during the BFF quiz for BuzzFeed with Timothy. The actors were asked questions about each other and one of the questions was about a celebrity crush. Timothy answered without hesitation, easy. He then looked straight to the camera and said, Tom Holland. We should admit that Zendaya's reaction is precious as she first looked down and seemed to blush. Then Zendaya was asked the same question about Timothy, but she didn't manage to answer it. She then switched the topic to her boyfriend once again and revealed what she appreciates in him. There are many things, obviously, that I appreciate. In an actor way, I appreciate that he really loves being Spider-Man, she said of Tom Holland. It's a lot of pressure. You take on the role of a superhero wherever you go. To the little kid who walks by, you are Spider-Man. I think he handled that so well. She then continued, in seeing him at work, even though he's not a Virgo, he is a perfectionist. Our director allowed me to come in every day of the shoot, and it was cool to see how he cares so much about his work and making it right. I watched him do a fight scene all day, which is exhausting, she added. He'd do a move, come back to the monitors, watch it and say, I can do that better. I'd be like, dude, you got it. But he wants us to be perfect, and I really appreciate that. 
Okay, it looks like we already figured out that there's nothing romantic going on between Zendaya and Timothy Chalamet. But what about his recent confession? Timothy revealed that he really wanted the role of Spider-Man, but he didn't get it. He wanted to portray the role of Spidey that much, so he was ready to go back and knock on that door again until his agent warned against the decision. This information was revealed when Timothy was accepting his Best Actor award and literally everyone was shocked by his honesty. Speaking of his role in the post-apocalyptic movie Bones and All, we have to admit that the actor did a really great job. He played a role of a cannibal with Taylor Russell and the two were cannibalistic lovers that traveled across the barren USA to discover themselves. But at the Venice Film Festival, it received a 10-minute standing ovation. So why wasn't it enough for the actor? Why did he want the role of Spider-Man? Just because Tom Holland has always wanted it? We can't say for sure, but the actor revealed that he was super desperate to steal this role from Tom, even though Zendaya told him that he would be perfect for the role of Green Goblin. Before Tom Holland was cast for the role, Timothy Chalamet revealed that he had to run away from the auditions because it didn't go exactly as he had planned. The actor got panicked and stressed. He didn't expect it will go this way and that he would be eventually rejected. The actor said, I read twice and I left sweating in a total panic. He then added that he wanted to audition once again, but his agent, Brian Swordstrom, told him that it was not a good idea. I called my agent, UTA's Brian Swordstrom, and I said, Brian, I thought about this a lot and I have to go back and knock on that door and read again. Brian told Timothy a story of Sean Young and how she was desperate to get the role of Catwoman and that she scared away the people when she walked on set in her costume. It was more than enough for Timothy to realize that he lost his chance. Maybe it was way too painful for the actor because Tom Holland was the one who took the role. Lately, Timothy revealed that he had been mistaken for Tom on multiple times. I have gotten called Tom Holland, which is awesome though because he's a great guy. And we think that it was also one of the reasons why he thought he would easily get the role of Spider-Man. Even though Timothy failed, he praised Tom Holland in public by saying that he is the perfect person to play the role of Spider-Man. The actor even admitted that he is so grateful that thanks to Zendaya, he had a chance to know Tom Holland a little bit. So is there a war between Timothy and Tom Holland? We assume that they are not friends, but not enemies either. They are just colleagues and fans simply like to come up with different theories and rumors because it is always interesting to talk about something like this. As for Zendaya, she is 100% in love with Tom Holland. Plus, she has recently called Tom her boyfriend in front of the camera, so these two are a real deal. Of course, you can definitely have your own opinion about this interesting triangle, and if you have something to share, make sure you did this. You are always welcome in our comment section. Do you think Timothy really had an idea to steal the role of Spider-Man from Tom Holland? Are these two friends or actually enemies? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you really like our content. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.